you guys what's up back welcome back to the Williams family channel and how are you doing today how are you feeling today I'm back with another mukbang and some more awareness on um, fibroids and things like that so yes I'm still in here I should be getting out tomorrow which will be Monday I hope you guys are enjoying oh the lighting is a little funny excuse me wait I hope you guys are enjoying your Memorial Weekend and enjoying the um, the hot weather. I can't wait to get out there. Um, shout out to all my, my subscribers, um, new and old. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And today, we're eating some vegetable soup, turkey meatballs with sauce, Parmesan cheese, spaghetti. Broccoli floors, red velvet cake, and uh, okay, you know, we got that school lunch milk. <laughs> and uh, I got me some cranberry juice over here on deck, and um, some coffee. I love my coffee, anyway. Let's see how this looks today and how appetizing it is. And I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. It's basically about the same things that's been going on with me and stuff like that. But let me get this vegetable soup so I can just show you how it how it's looking. Okay, let me get a spoon. So, see that? Ooh, vegetable soup. Okay, I'm not going to eat that right now. So basically, so, bas so basically, my hemoglobin was 4.8. And um, reg um, as a human being, we should have a hemoglobin as 13, I think, being the highest. Well, up in that, ra in that range and stuff like that. So when it gets to 4, it, is, is, it becomes a high-risk and emergency. And that's when they want to give you blood transfusions and things like that and stuff like that. So, ladies, I definitely want you to be aware of um, your body and the feeling of it and just be aware of your health and definitely make sure you check up on your iron and your hemoglobin and things like that because that's very important. Another thing I want to touch on which I didn't know is that I love ice probably because I am anemic as well and my iron is low so it makes you eat a lot of ice and by eating the ice whatever iron you're getting in your body the iron depletes the ice excuse me the ice depletes any iron you're getting so even if you got this much if you eat some ice it's tearing it up so if you're an ice eater be careful with that it's really not you know good but those are one of the signs of being really low and it's like I can't live without my ice and stuff but however I'm going to live without it now another thing is that <clears throat> I am just ready to get out of here because I feel like I've been being a pin cushion and um, also because of the iron being so low um, my veins have been become like fragile and um, not really pumped up as much and so um, it made it hard for me to get a lot of needles and things like that. And it's been driving me crazy because I don't like needles any, anyway. However, um, if I keep myself hydrated with a lot of water, it kind of keeps the, the veins strong and things like that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going, up, going on with me. However, I had to get another iron transfusion today. And they're saying that my iron went up to an 8, which is good. And that um, if they come in and check my vitals, I should be able to go home. And which I'm so happy because I'm definitely missing home and I'm missing my children. And like I said, you know, oh, excuse me. Ah, my hand is a little sore. I got to get up and I got to get my seafood. Because, you know, I'm getting ready to do my seafood boils because I've been missing my seafood. Not only that. I just been missing being home, my day to day routines and things like that. Like it's like I can only lay down for for so much and things like that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm strong and I'm making it through. But I just I just wanted to put y'all on to that. I know I spoke about it before, but um, I'm just really touching it because it's something that um, 
I'm going through not only that you know I have a fibroid and so the fibroid is kind of still bleeding inside and I have to get that addressed too because if I don't get it addressed and get it removed I will always have to come in for a transfusion or something like that and I will always have the low iron and the blood coming out of me and I just wanted to make um, give some awareness to young women out there and mostly black young women because um, fibroids really mostly happen to us and stuff like that so if you're just feeling any way under any circumstances I'm just saying pay attention to your body because a lot of times I just keep it moving and I don't I eat a lot of healthy things I take a lot of healthy medicine but that's not just enough it's just that I'm always on the go what I mean is like I'm always liking to do different things and stuff like that so I don't really sometimes just pay so much attention there's so much going on but yeah anyway I'm starving let me get into this food so let's see the spaghetti oh yeah this is looking really good I'm so surprised this is looking so good let me see I want y'all to see this because this is hospital food look at that Ooh, in this pipe behind mm, mm. I'm looking crazy let me stop <laughs> okay I want to taste some of the soup though Um, no, never been a real vegetable soup fan. Tastes like I always knew it did. Like it always did, excuse me. Mm -mm. Can't quit with it. Now, any of the day they give some bread. I don't know why they didn't give no bread today. And ain't no one good and well. I'm having pasta. I need some bread. I'm working with one hand today. They had to move my IV line to our hand. Oh, here's a Parmesan. See the Parmesan? I got to put... Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh, okay. I could work better without my other hand. And then this hand, obviously. Let me put down this fork. I like my spaghetti saucy, but I'm gonna be grateful. I should have just told the kids to bring them to food. But, nope, that's about this. Oh, Parmesan, Parmesan. Look at that Parmesan. Sprinkle that Parmesan. I ain't eat. A meatball in a while and I'm happy that it's turkey cuz I don't eat I don't really like pork look at that Parmesan on there okay so let's see let's taste it It's all right. It has a, a strong, like, pungent taste, which is strange. I wonder if it's because of the Parmesan, but mm, I think it's the turkey to use. Um, I'm used to now, and my spaghetti is putting vegetarian in, but I'm hungry. I need some butter for my broccoli. <clears throat> but I hope y'all are all feeling well. <clears throat> I'm happy. Mm. I get to share my experiences with you. I think everybody should be aware. 
of life's ups and downs. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That broccoli was good. I think I'm going to go back to that broccoli. With the butter. Broccoli always makes me gas. Let me know what it does to you guys. Or is it just me? I always like the top of the broccoli. Really. That's the truth. I really don't like the bottom. Really don't. Oh, I forgot to do a thumbnail. No. Maybe I just do it like... Huh. I'll find one. Ooh. My hand hurts a little bit. Mm. Uh, that's like... Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Miss Little Piggy. Miss Little Piggy. Uh. Mm. Maybe that's canned sauce, Tom. I don't taste so mad. some more parmesan cheese on here. I know I'm not going to eat this whole spaghetti for it. Probably the meatballs and I, I feel like since I've been in here and getting the iron and stuff like that, my appetite has increased too much and I just want to go back to my little video. Salads, avocado, um, just my healthy and stuff like that. Not that this is not all healthy. But not all of it, not all of it, but I did enjoy it. It was a lot better than hospital food, I guess, used to be back in the day. Yes, definitely. I need some juice. I need some cranberry juice. That's kind of hot. This one hand thing. Ugh. Ah. Mm. Okay, this is just not. Let me see what can I do to open this. You guys, I'm struggling. And I don't want to cut my beautiful lips with the temple. Uh, now, how am I going to get this red velvet cake? <laughs> Yo, this is so funny to me. Because it just shows you how you appreciate everything. All the limbs on your body. All the breath that you breathe when you come against a situation. I'm really appreciating it. Okay, I got the cake open. So I get to eat some of the cake. Yes. Let's taste the red velvet. Mm. I'm going to put it up here on my arm to work it out. It's soft, it's light, it's fluffy. They work there. Look at that. What's that? Take some. Take some. Mm. Wow. That was truly worth it. Oh my goodness, that was really good. That was really good. That was really good. Well, Thank you for watching. 
Thank you for allowing me to share. My truth, I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. And I, I'm not sure if I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. Mwah, later. Squadron, squadrons.